Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silver. Thank you for watching. Today I wanted to show you guys how I straighten my hair. Um, some people have asked me before, like, oh, what's your natural hair? Is it really that curly? And I'm like, it's curly, but it's kind of crazy and it's like uneven. Um, I really don't know how to describe the texture, but it is wild and I do get it really straight and I will have it like this for five days and until I get it wet again, it stays this straight. So if you guys want to see how I straighten my hair and my little tricks and techniques that I use, then please keep watching. So this is my natural hair. It's very curly. It's big. Um, what's weird is like this front part is not as curly as you can see. It's not straight, but like it's definitely straighter than everything else. And in the back, it's more curly and it kind of looks like dreads, like dreaded together curls. It's all over the place. So I don't ever wear my hair curly and I usually will blow dry it straight out of the shower or let it air dry overnight, blow dry it straight, um, put some big curls in it, and I'll leave it straight like that for four to five days before I wash it again. Um, but this is a easy way that I will straighten my hair if it's already curly, it's already dry. Um, I'll just go in and flat iron all of it to get it as straight as possible. This is the technique that I did growing up. I always wore my hair straight in high school. Um, a lot of people don't even know that my hair actually looks like this naturally because I've straightened it for so long. So I'm just going to share with you guys how I get this hair to be poker straight and have it look flawless. Okay, so my hair is completely dry. So first things first is we have an oil. Um, I like to put oil in my hair wet and dry, but especially if I'm about to flat iron it, I will put oil in dry mainly from like here down on my ends just to keep everything smooth and shiny this is the marula oil it's the rare oil treatment there are two different kinds so this one's like the more intense one i have a paul mitchell flat iron and this is the smooth plus the express smooth plus i believe it's an inch and a quarter maybe um, some flat irons are wider, some are smaller, so this one's like right in the middle. So I like to split my hair in two, which I usually wear my hair down the middle when I straighten it as well. And this doesn't have to be perfect, I just need half of it to be clipped away while I do the other half. So I'll take this half and clip it off. And this part, so I have not brushed this, this is just like air dried hair. Um, when you go in and flat iron, you need the pieces to be a little smoother. You need to be able to run the brush or the comb through them. So I'm just going to go in and brush all of this out. So this is going to get bigger. It's going to get fluffier, but it's going to like break up those curls and all that curl pattern back here so that we can comb through and we can easily run a brush through and run the flat iron over it. I think that feels pretty good. So this is where I like to put in my oil. So now that I can run my fingers through this, it's a little softer, it's a little smoother. Um, I will take my oil and this has a little like dropper, which all oils are different. So I do like, I would say this is like a full drop. I'm going to put all of this on this side of my hair. So I'm just going to do it like halfway down. And I'm just going to run it through everything, really get the ends that are the dry part. Sometimes you can put too much oil in certain sections and when you go to flat iron it, it does look kind of greasy. But I've always noticed that my hair will eventually like absorb the oil and look fine after maybe an hour. But at first it might look like too shiny. So the best way to get your hair stick straight is to take very small sections. So I'm going to take just this small section and clip the rest of this away. And we're just going to work on this part. Now I've seen a lot of girls and maybe their hair isn't this curly, but they, they go in to straighten their hair 
and they basically just like go over and over and over the same section until it's straight which eventually that will work but you're putting heat on areas of your hair that maybe have already had enough heat that are already straight and you're kind of just doing damage so i like to take small sections that way i only have to go over them once or twice and it'll be straight and then i can move on to the next part because if you're constantly going over the same stuff you're just applying heat that isn't necessary so i'm taking a pretty small section as you can see this is just like the nape of my neck and i'm going in right at the top and i like to move kind of slow because that way you can get everything straight in one pass and we want to make sure that your flat iron is always moving because once you stop, you're going to get a line where you've stopped. So is, even though you are going slow, just make sure that it's still moving. So now this is pretty straight and I don't need to go over that again. So we're just going to kind of brush that back. Take the rest of that section. I'm still going to split this into two as well. I do have a lot of hair, so this takes me a while. Um, and it sucks, a lot of people don't have patience to be straightening your hair for this long, but once it's done, it will stay straight until it gets wet. It might get bent or, you know, if I'm sweating at night, it might get curled a little bit underneath, but for the most part, this is gonna stay straight until my hair gets wet. So it will be like this for the next week. And I like to constantly brush through it as I'm flat ironing too, just to make sure that all the hair is aligned and everything is getting passed through the flat iron. So with the comb, or with the brush, I'm sorry, I'm kind of following the flat iron so that everything stays aligned. And my flat iron is set on 360. Um, sometimes if I feel like it's really humid out and my hair is not getting as straight, because there'll be times where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going over and over and it still is just not as straight, um, I'll bump it up to like 370, 380. But I try to keep it as low as possible and still get the look that I'm going for. But like I said, if it's not working, I'll bump it up, but I never go to 400. Okay. I'm gonna show you another small section and then I'm gonna kind of zoom past all this because we will be here for hours. Um, this little piece right by my ear, this is maybe the coarsest that my hair is right by my ear. It's curly, it's coarse, and sometimes it takes a while to get it straight. So I like to just take the smallest little section and get as close as possible. There we go. Sometimes these pieces by my ear will take a little longer to flat iron or they're the ones that get curly after a few hours, you know? Um, but that straightened out pretty good. Misery loves company as yes, they say you know. Now the one thing I ain't got time for resort games Sick of playing and I'm ready to face out Ready to stay out Hey, you know I'm ready to go There's just one thing I gotta know How it be all out in your face You still scared to the light you change you got the bad, bad on your side But baby, was it down the right? You had the bad, bad on your side mm. But baby, was it down the right? What was you do without the bad, bad on your side? Now, well baby, was it down the right?
one eternity later. So I finished straightening my hair and the front always gives me a problem because it's so much shorter than the rest of my hair and I don't know what to do with it. Like I feel like it doesn't look as good when it's just straight down because it kind of like chops off right there. So I think this is where I would take smaller sections and kind of flip it at the end like you're still flat ironing it but you're flipping it back so that it like blends in with your hair better so as you can see it has like a little bit of a flip and i kind of took like a layer just because i have a lot of it's kind of a thick chunk of my bangs that's like this and just slowly like curve it back towards your hair and i think i might have like one and then brush through it now that kind of like goes into my hair a little more and isn't like a chunk right here and then this is where I'm gonna spray it this is a flexible working spray so this isn't gonna make my hair like be stiff and stay in that position but what it's gonna do is know like okay you want me to stay like that but you want to be able to like run your fingers through me sure oh this is uh worked up by Paul Mitchell And this is like super easy. Anybody can do this. Just taking small sections, going basically straight down, but curving the end more towards like the back of my head. So this is a great trick for shorter layers around your face or just like layers in general that you're trying to like blend into your hair. This would also work like if you were using when you blow dry your hair if you're using like a round brush right here and like trying to get this to like kind of go back leave a comment below if you enjoyed watching this video if you learned something about straightening your hair um, I would love to hear from you guys don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time thank you bye Think you got the bad, bad guy on your side But baby, was it down?